Today we're going to go into detail about atomic structure. Now all matter and mass is composed of very tiny units called atoms. Everything we see, we touch, we feel is composed of atoms. Now atoms themselves are composed of nucleuses surrounded by electrons. Now a nucleus is composed of two types of particles called protons and neutrons. Now protons and neutrons have approximately the same weight. A neutron is a tiny bit heavier than protons. But for all purposes, we can approximate that these guys have the same exact mass. Electrons, however, have a very small mass, much smaller than that of protons or neutrons. In fact, it's 1800 times smaller the mass uh, than a proton or a neutron. Now, if we look at this table and we look at their masses, a proton has one AMU, a neutron has one AMU. Now, AMU is simply atomic mass unit. We're going to discuss that in detail in another lecture. But an electron has a mass of 5.5 times 10 to negative 4 AMU. That's much smaller than that of proton or a neutron. The charge, however, of a proton an, ele <coughs> an electron have the same magnitude, 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 coulombs. However, the sign of a proton is positive, while the sign of an electron is negative. A neutron has zero charge. It's a neutral charge. Now let's look at the structure. Now in the illustration above, we see our atom. Now this whole guy is our nucleus. And our nucleus is composed of two particles, protons and neutrons. In this atom, we have two uh, protons and two neutrons. The protons are positively charged, while the neutrons are neutrally charged. Now the electron is found orbiting our atom, our nucleus. And the distance between our nucleus and the electron is quite large. And in fact, atoms are mostly composed of empty space. And in fact, if our atom was the size of a football field, our nucleus would be the size of a marble. So you can imagine that our entire atom, for the most part, is composed of empty space. And that's because our electrons are very, very small. And they orbit our nucleus at a very, very great distance compared to the size of the nucleus itself. So what holds the nucleus, or the protons and neutrons, together? Well, the force that holds the nucleus together is called the nuclear force. This is just one type of electrostatic force, and it's a very strong force. Now, once again, it's very important to understand the fact that due to the small size of our electrons orbiting our nucleus, the atom is composed mainly of empty space.